Hey everybody, so we are playing as USC in Retro Bowl. It's part of my college series where I've edited all the teams to be college teams and we are playing through seasons as different college teams. And currently I'm playing as USC and this week in particular, I'm playing against Ole Miss. So, so far we are 3-0 and and we've kind of destroyed everybody we played against. So we'll see if this team puts a little bit more of a challenge against USC. Looks like Ole Miss gets to start with the ball and they pass it and we miss a tackle they're moving right down the field on us i think they're going to score they do they get a touchdown their first drive of the game and they get the extra point so we are behind right now seven to zero so that's not a great way to start but my plan is to win this by having really good offense anyway and just outscore them i didn't put any investment in the defense which is pretty realistic to usc honestly so uh my goal is just to kind of win with really good offense so i don't really care how much they score it's how much we can score. That's what matters. And we are running down that sideline. We got a 31-yard gain on our very first play. I think that was our first play. Um, either way, it was pretty early on. Here we go. Perfect throw, if I do say so myself. 16-yard gain, another first down. It would be pretty impressive if I could get a first down every single time I threw the ball. Looks like this will be another first down and a touchdown because there was a missed tackle. So we have already scored a touchdown. And let's go for two to give ourselves a little bit of an advantage, a little bit more of a cushion. <laughs> I almost got sacked right there. I had to run for it, and we got it. It's very important to have a quarterback that can run. Otherwise, you'll find yourself, you'll find yourself in trouble uh, if you get rushed like that and there's nobody open. So it looks like they turned over the ball. I didn't quite see how they did it, but we had the ball again very quickly. They hardly used any time up. I'm going to throw that one away. Uh, I didn't want to risk throwing an interception, and I didn't want to lose yards by getting sacked, so I just threw it away. Thankfully, there's no penalties for uh, intentional grounding in this game, or I'd probably get in trouble sometimes. That's the end of the first quarter. I've actually heard some people say they wish there were penalties in this game, and I kind of agree that it would be fun to have some penalties, um, but at the same time, it could be awfully annoying sometimes, because I know they'd have to do some random element to it. And uh, there's already a random element to, this is going to be a touchdown, not quite a touchdown. Um, <laughs> thought it was going to be a touchdown there. We're right at the goal line, though. Um, there's somewhat of a random element to the fumbling, and it can be really annoying and feel unfair when you fumble it right when you're about to win and you end up losing because of that. So I can definitely see it being really annoying if you uh, had penalties that were random and you get one that you feel is unfair at a really bad time that makes you lose. Well, we just went for two and we got it. So we're up 16 to seven. Let's see if they are able to answer and get any points before halftime. And it looks like they will. I'm actually kind of excited when they score because I want it to be somewhat close. I mean, the game so far have been complete blowouts. So I'm very excited that it's a two point game right now and uh, we are in the second quarter. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I don't think we can score that fast, especially with the fact that my quarterback does not have very good arm strength. I do have... Ooh, that was a really bad throw. That, mm, that pretty much... I pretty much threw away <laughs> all my chances there of uh, getting a score. I'm just going to let the time run out. So we're going into halftime only ahead by two points. This is the closest game we've had so far. But we get to start with the ball in the second half. So that gives us a, a good advantage, especially since we're already ahead by two points. That's why I like to go for those two-point conversions. It gives me a little bit of a, a buffer. If I didn't do that, it'd be 14 to 14 right now. And in my opinion, they're almost as easy to make as the extra points, like the kicks. So why not go for it, you know? I was going to see if I could run around the defense, so I went back a little bit. It sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. You have to have a pretty fast uh, receiver to do that. Let's see who's going to catch it. It's my not quite as good receiver, but he's still good. He's out running the defense for a long time. It's 36 yards that we just gained, and we are in the red zone. Let's see if we can just get a score real quick here. Okay, everyone's running all over the place. Perfect. He's wide open. Probably will get, Oh, he got past all the defense. Wow. Well, we are pulling ahead now. Let's see if we can get a two-point conversion again. Might as well go for it. Uh, somebody get open. Perfect. Okay. So we're ahead 24 to 14. We have a 10-point lead, and it is still the third quarter. Let's see what happens here. Oh, and they had to punt it. Yeah, this game's over. We, we have this one. If we lose this, I'd, I'd have to do something really stupid to lose it at this point. 
or the the game would have to do something really stupid like uh let them get a onside kick in the last second and somehow score in the last second it has done that to me before just watch the end of the ohio state season you'll see how badly that ended i thought for sure i had that game one and then oh oh no no uh, okay so i just made a mistake there i threw that interception I knew it as soon as the left hand. I'm, I'm used to quarterbacks with longer range, and so I thought I could, if I put the full range, it would go plenty far. But this quarterback can't throw as far as some of the other other quarterbacks that I've had, so it, it fell down before I wanted it to and, uh, of course, landed. If you if you underthrow it uh, and the receiver's between, uh, the d defense is between you and the receiver, it's going to be intercepted. Still winning though, even with them scoring on that drive. And I expect to score again right here. It does put us in a little bit of a dangerous situation because if they did get an onside kick. They could score twice. So I might have to use up a little bit of clock just to ensure that we win this one because I'd really like to end this, to get through this season undefeated. I've only done it once so far. Out of the three seasons that I've played, I only did it as Clemson. And I had a really good team then. That was an incredible team. Uh, I think I'm just gonna. Mm, I'm just gonna kick the extra point. Played a little safer. Okay. Thirty-one to twenty-one. Ten point lead with twenty seconds. We can't really lose this. Okay. We win by ten points. So that was a little bit more exciting. Wasn't quite a blowout like the previous ones. So that was a good one. Uh, I'm just hoping that we get a little bit more of a challenge somewhere along the way. We'll see if any of these teams can really challenge us in our dominance. So next week we will be playing against, once I get through all these menus, it's a lot of clicking to get through the menus, Auburn, that's right. So we have two SEC teams in a row. So next week we're playing Auburn. They are a good defense, but not a very good offense. So we'll see how this goes. I have a feeling we're gonna win that one, but we'll see. Sometimes those are the ones that I end up actually losing to is the ones that aren't very good and I end up being the good ones. So shouldn't get too cocky we just need to make sure that we uh are prepared for it so all right well i hope you enjoyed that and if you did enjoy that you want to see some other videos i'm doing the whole series and whole seasons at a time so if you want to see whole seasons then you should subscribe so that you get notifications when i upload new games i almost do uh i think i actually do two a day right now uh unless it's a special playoff game then i usually do one so all right hope i'll see you next time when we play auburn